All right, this is, uh, this is Romans chapter 10, verse 1. It says, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to the Most High Power for Israel is that they might be saved. God, first and foremost, I like to give all praises to Yahweh, Mahashem, Yahweh Shah, Mahashem, Mahashem, Double honors to the elders of Pastor G and Madison who are well. Salute you brothers pushing this word and the truth sincerity and strength by Yahweh Mahashem, Yahweh right? And you brothers and sisters that's growing in trust and spirit, power Yahweh Mahashem, Yahweh Shah, Shah, Yahweh Mahashem, Yahweh Shah, Uh, 
start at 44. First one hit the 15 to 44, then you start there. And then read the 45, and then I'm going to show you. Then I'm going to speak on what I'm talking about. Yeah. All right. This is uh this is First Corinthians chapter fifteen, verse forty-four. It's, uh, it says, "It is sown in natural body. It is raised in grace and spiritual body. There is a natural body, and there is a spiritual body. See, there's a natural body and there's a spiritual body. You know, that's why I was mentioning being torn." Being spiritual, dealing with the atoms. You know? Go ahead. This is uh, verse 45. It says, And so it is written, the first man, Adam, was made a living soul. So it was the nation of Adamites. Okay? It was the nation of Adamites. Okay? Go ahead, bro. The last Adam, it says, uh, the last Adam was made a quickening spirit. Mm -hmm. Which the last Adam was Yahweh. All right, I had to start, start the camera back up. You know, yeah, it was zapped. You know, Esau zapped it. You know, but like I was saying, we were dealing with uh, Adam and talking about before the camera got zapped, talking about how he been upon him. Well, I'm going to have the brother read it, you know, carnal when it comes to these women. So I'm going to have the brother read it. Go ahead, bro. All right. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 44. It says, it is sown a natural body. It is raised a spiritual body. There is a natural body and there is a spiritual body. Verse 45. It says, and so it is written. The first man, Adam, was made a living soul. So you had the Adamites, okay? There was a nation of Adamites, right? And the first Adam, you know, was basically carnal, okay? Because he wore his heart on his shoulder, man, because he used to eat, man. And that's why Esau Edom used Eve the way he used Eve. Because these men today are the spirit of the first battle. You see? And by them listening to the television, the music, listening to the, by them listening to the television, watching the television, listening to the music, watching the movie, listening to the movie, they are influenced by those things. In this world upholds the worship of women, and these men are being programmed to worship women. So they gonna cater to Eve and not Yahweh Shemuel So a lot of these men are gonna die behind trying to please these women man, when it comes to the juice and when it comes to the uh, the chip, man, the mark of the beast. A lot of these men gonna follow Eve, man. They gonna die out, man. Cause the first Eve, the first Adam was a sucker for love, man. That's what he was. He was a sucker for love, trying to please uh, Eve. Go ahead, bro. Okay. It says the last Adam was made a quickening spirit. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. This is uh, this is verse. 46, how be it that was not first which is spiritual, but that which is natural, and, Go ahead. and afterward that which is spirit, spiritual. So what it is is, Yahweh Shah, when he came, being the second Adam, he was spiritual. So he got the remnant. not going to be catering to that woman. Because the scriptures give you the order, man. In the book of Corinthians. And it, you know, when you read the book of Corinthians, you had a lot of uh, Corinthians that was asking Paul questions about how to serve the Heavenly Father. And when you read the book of Corinthians, Paul is answering a lot of questions 
to the Israelites that was over there in Corinth, Greece. Okay? That's where uh, the book of Corinthians, it was addressed to, it was addressed to Israelites that was in, in Greece, that were living in Greece. Okay? And you had a lot of confusion with them Israelites, and they was trying to learn how to worship Yahweh Shalom Shai, coming back, serving him, you know, believing through faith. So, Paul gave the order. He was like the Heavenly Father, his son, men, women, and then you got the children. That's obvious. But today, since these men don't got the knowledge, and they've been programmed by uh, Esau, Edom, and listening to Eve on top of that, they're going to be taken, man. They're going to be taken and continue to transgress and end up in error and end up being destroyed, man. Okay? A lot of these men are going to take that juice because of the woman. Because, like the brother was pointing out, how when that bus rolled by earlier in the video, how Esau got the woman, how they had the bus wrap with Eve on the front of it, talking about take the juice. And a lot of these men are uh, gonna follow Eve, man, because they wanna keep Eve around. That's why a lot of men, when they go to work, they work to get money to please Eve and to keep Eve around. So as the society falls fall apart, they're gonna be fighting to uh, keep their woman around, man. And keep that woman comfortable and uh, keep pleasing her. And they gonna do whatever it takes when they end up being destroyed, trying to sustain themselves in this life. And it's just all the part of it. Stuff like that, man. All that, all what he doing is for is for a woman, it's for attention, attention, man. That's all this, you know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about. Getting attention from women, because we don't care. We don't care nothing about that. It's to get attention from women, man. You see? These men are fucked up, man. I'm just telling you. They fucked up. The women are fucked up. The men are fucked up. This place is fucked up. It gotta go, man. You can't keep living like this. So, that's it on that part when they mentioned Yahweh Shah being second Adam. Kind of quick in the spirit. Yeah, did it mention that? So we read that part. So give me first, give me uh first Ezra chapter four, verse twenty-five to twenty-seven, and then we're gonna jump to uh thirty-eight. Okay. Alright. This is uh this is first Ezra chapter four, verse twenty-five. It says, Wherefore a man loveth his wife better than father or mother. Right. It says, yea. Many there be that have run out of their wits for women. Yeah. So when you deal with the word witch, which we would go into the etymology of it, online of it, and it deals with consciousness, understanding, you know, and knowledge to know. Right? When you go on the etymology online and you type in the word W I T you will run into what I'm saying. Because you got a treat tape like right this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They come there for all that. If I didn't spell it out like that, they say, well, they ain't on there, they can't find it. Right. All you got to do is type, type, go on the etymology online and type in W-I-T and it'll bring up the definition of what I'm talking about. Man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So finish that, bro. And become servants for their sakes. So, World, you know, over periods of time, you know, the, the scriptures is for our learning. So over periods of time, men have done these things. You know, they have forsook the knowledge of the heavenly father and son to please a woman. Okay? Going all the way back to uh Adam. First Adam, five thousand years ago. See? Going back to the first Adam, right? That's why Yahweh Shah didn't have no woman, right? Because he erred during the time of Solomon. He knew. You know, 
He knew, man. He knew about these women, man. He figured it out during the time of Solomon, man. And when he came back at Jehovah Shai, he didn't deal with no woman, man. He knew. And that's why Satan had to go straight to him. Okay? When he took up took him up on the mount, he couldn't go to he couldn't go to his woman because he had one. So he had to go straight to Yahweh Shai. The first Adam, he went to his woman. This time he had to go to straight to Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai rebuked him and stood his ground and stayed on the course of the Most High. And then you got a lot of brothers in this truth that ain't got no woman. They might got woman, but they don't deal with them like they got women. Right, you know right, what I'm saying? Right. They ain't living with them. Right at home, but, you, know, you know what I'm saying? In the same household with them. They might have women that they stand in separate households and stuff like that. And that relationship fucking rocking. You know what I'm saying? It's suspect. Right. You know what I'm saying? You don't deal with them all the time like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? You, hey, man, the most I got this thing set up, man, to where you got brothers in this truth that got women, and they women don't even watch none of the lessons. Don't give two shits about what them right. men are doing concerning the truth, man. They in the world, man. So, hey, man, a lot of these brothers that's in this truth, women might not make it. But it's up to you how about you now with God. You know what I'm saying? You send prayers up for the woman you're dealing with, but a lot of them, man, you, shit, they might not even make it, man. That's just what it is, man. Because they fucked up. You know, brothers may say he got a woman, but she's somewhere fuck. He don't know where the hell she is. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. He's fucking deal with it like once a week, once you know every three weeks. He don't even know, man. Mm. He don't even know. And that's the truth. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? And then if you're in the same household, that shit is a fucking struggle, right, man. Right, right, right. That shit is a fucking struggle, man. I'm just giving to you raw. You know what I'm saying? I'm just giving it to you wrong, man. That shit's a fucking struggle, man. Everybody, everybody wants your attention some way, some Which me, personally, I ain't got no woman. Me, I ain't got no woman, man. I can't fucking feel, man. I, these Babylonian women fucked up, man. I ain't me, personally, for God's down here, I ain't got no woman, man. Fuck that shit. I'm good, man. That shit is fucking crazy, man. Being this truth, man. These women don't fucking listen, man. It ain't like I can't get one. Right, but man, right. I don't wanna, I don't, man. Man, that shit will wear you out, man. I'm just being honest with y'all. That shit will wear you out, man. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. You know? Women flip-flop like fucking pancakes, man. It change like the wind, man. You tell them that, man. They get mad. <laughs> All right, man. You be laying, laying down next to a woman. You don't know what the fuck she thinking, man. Right, right. The women got demons on them, man. Yeah, man. What the same using, motherfucker, man. Fucking staring at you while you driving this shit the whole yeah, time. Yeah, man. Fucking looking straight. Studying you just, your, studying yeah. your fucking uh, movements and yeah, shit. Yeah, you fucking look over and look at her. She's been looking at you the whole time <laughs> with a fucking grin on her face, man. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You lay down, you wake up, she's standing over you and shit. Right. Watching you sleep. Right. Fuck that shit, bro. Right. Not right. your boy. <laughs> hey, but not your boy. But go ahead. I just had to put that all out there. Fuck it. Right. Go ahead, bro. All right, this is uh, verse 27. It says, Many also have perished, have erred in sin for women. Men are sucking for love or sin. You know what I'm saying? Many have lost the understanding. And you got guys that been in these truth that fell out because of women, man. Because of money and women, man. A lot of a lot of times, man, the guys come in this truth, man, they fall out because of money and women, man. Yeah. Yeah. Them two things get them, man. Finances and women, man. They gone. Which they wasn't of the elect. The most high, y'all about shooting out shot and keep a spirit on them. You know? They really wanted to be in the world. This truth wasn't exciting enough for them. Okay? 
That's what it was, man. All right, this truth, being this truth, it's a lonely road, man. It's a lonely road, man. Being in this truth, man, it's a lonely road, man. If the reward is going to be beautiful at the end, but while you're on this path, walking this narrow path, man, it's a lonely road, man. Go ahead. All right. Uh, so First Ezra is chapter 4. Let me jump into This is uh, verse 37. It says, wine, wine is wicked. It says, the king is wicked. Now, you can drink wine, but they have a discussion on what is stronger. Okay? When you read the chapter, they have a discussion on what is strong. So go ahead, bro. It says, women are wicked. All the children of men are wicked. And, and such are all their work, uh, wicked works. And there is no truth in them. It says, in their unrighteousness also they shall perish. Verse 38. As for the truth, it endureth. And it's always strong. It's the truth that endureth. And it is always strong. So what I'm telling you, speaking out here in this digital epistle, I mean, that's truth. I'm telling you, it's truth. Thank <laughs> you.